What is up guys, Multiverse Skibbity Toilet Drill Woman. Got like these cool things on the back of her body. Crazy stuff going on. Okay, let's try it. Start with the head. <clears throat> Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause. If I go too fast, we're gonna start with that drill. So the curved drill. So it's got like a point. So we'll say like, yeah, we'll go like here, right? So center point of my page is about here come up over to right and the head will be like up here so say we go like an arrow so we'll go like here right? and then it goes back this way and maybe this will go like a bit further like with a curve All right so this kind of shape head is like looking this way a little bit and then at the back we've got like a big like a letter c just joining that together okay and then there might be like an extra looks like a little extra edge line just on the back of this just makes everything look a little bit more 3d when you put like extra little edge lines on things like that and then we have just wrapped around sort of circular lines just coming around each of these, right? So it goes like, you just go around again. Kind of as even as you can get it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now you can do as many as you want. Just going this way. And you, if you wanna make the bottoms a little bit bumpier, you can. And maybe the top as well, just to make them look like they're actually curving around a bit. Okay. Now, so we've got different sort of levels of spikes and stuff that go back this way. Not really spikes, but like circles and sort of different shapes, right? So I'll go, we'll go back up towards the head first, right? And we'll do the big one that goes around. So this comes the whole way around her head here. All the way down, right? And there's different shapes inside. Right? And this just comes back up towards that drill there. And then there is a box on top of her head here. So it goes like up here. And then it seems to like go around this. It's got a curved shape. So first you do like a rectangle Kind of like that and then this will go diagonal back up diagonal there and you want to give it like a little cap to try and make it look a little bit 3d and then like a little bolt on the side all right so now we'll just fill in some of the details here so we'll go we'll give this another edge right so you're basically going to do these sort of lines over and over again so like another edge line coming down here Maybe loads of these now just coming down around the head and then another closer together some of them than others you know skinnier ones wider ones coming around the head and then like a wider one here like that and then I think like one more real skinny one here. Okay, so lots of like concentric circles and stuff. And these have, these are broken up by different sort of shapes that are on the head, right? So like going this way, little sort of, let me just say little boxes. And they could have like edges to them, right? So like little skinny lines on the side. Right there. And then different ones on this level. So it's like, like shorter ones, they don't get right to the end. They just go sort of stop there and go back then. And they have a little lip on the top.
right so then the back of the head and then there's a stand actually that comes out from the back of the head so see like there's a little golden thing that sticks out here and it's got a bolt it looks like inside and then there's an edge to it so it goes back down just to make it look a bit three-dimensional and then there's it's like her head is like a drill that would sit on a workbench right so it's got this flat bottom and then there's the back of the head that curves around behind that then so this goes down like that from there and then we have a little lip that kind of sticks out here it's like a flat stand edge and it goes underneath here it might get a bit jaggedy or different levels of things just coming across the head but it generally just goes like flat across you could go you could go pure flat if you wanted of course but i'll just get it as close as i can to what i'm looking at right and it has a little edge line here it changes direction a couple of times so it goes up underneath her chin here and then there's another little silver plate and then like a golden plate looks like and then like a little edge to that there and then her head the back of the head comes back around all the way up to this box right so it goes boom and then this will have a little edge line to it as well there we're gonna put another edge here And like maybe some more details just on this just to give it some edge and then there's like more sort of vent lines or something like all here coming around the head like so and maybe another little something something up here okay so that's basically the head right so neck right the neck is quite wide so it like comes down this way right can't really see the back of it you can just see like the shirt collar here and it kind of goes spiky shirt collar there and back around the back of the head and then she has a t-shirt that just comes around here and then the shirt collar on the other side of the body comes out from around the neck gets a bit spiky and then you got the inside of that and it just starts to go down the body this way it goes fairly straight sort of down that way and then the other side goes this way bumps around the chest down to there and move a belt across here there is no neck muscles but i will add them because for necks it's always beneficial to put that kind of a thing it really makes it look like a neck and she seems to have a necklace on so it goes like down here some sort of oval necklace and this will go up around the shirt like back in here and you got some folds just on the shirt here so shoulders torso belt buckle right so shoulders come out this way there's a belt that comes around the front of the chest so it kind of goes this way right and then it curves out right so it's a double line because it is leather straps right and it's got a little it looks like a bit that sticks out but i won't do that i, I think it's probably a glitch so it goes this way and then down it gets quite skinny here for the edge line and then wide as it comes down the torso there right, so that's like an edge there it's like a shiny leather belt right and then right the other side so shoulder goes out this way body's kind of in three quarters so this side is skinnier than this side so this from the center line of her chest to the outside of the shoulder would go across about twice right 
because the body's kind of turning away that way. So this leather strap then just curves down around this way, bumps over the chest here, down behind the belt buckle, which is sort of here somewhere. It's kind of comes across this way. It's kind of like a Lara Croft style belt with a like a bit of a buckle here. Some, you'd want some like dots and edges and things like that and maybe like her waist just goes that way and the waist on this side kind of folds and bumps and stuff goes up underneath the armpit which would be about here beside her chest and the arm will fold this way like, uh, there might be strapping or buckles and stuff on these but it's hard to see it because it's just a shiny sort of belt so we'll add our own kind of thing just edge lines maybe so her two hands are out there. i think this is from the thumbnail so we'll draw them in anyway so shoulder comes down and it's kind of like a folded up sleeve right so you got like these fold lines and then the roundy part of this sleeve that's like folded around itself here. Okay, and then on the other side, shoulder, some bumps and stuff. For you got to do bumps like on clothing, especially like illustrated line drawings, because it makes it look more like um, fabric folded up around itself there. Okay, got two drill weapons attached to her hands, but we get, we'll get, yeah, we'll get the hands in. So we'll go wrist, really skinny. Her wrists just look like pipes, kind of. So it goes straight that way, straight that way. And then we have a leather glove, so it like bumps around for the wrist, right? And then hands just like sticking out kind of normal. The fingers on this side are curling. The ones over here are sticking out straight. So we'll, we'll do it as simple as we can. So we go up to the thumb knuckle, around that, back up to the top of the thumb, around. And then you got like the thumb shape there. And then the fingers just kind of stick out straight. So we got the side of the hand here, and then you start going for knuckles, right? So you go little finger, out towards the top of that, around that way. And then the ring finger in behind that, going that way. Middle, again, they kind of just stick out straight, they're not overly detailed. And then the index, just here. Going back behind the thumb. Right, they're just kind of flat out straight sort of hands. Okay, that kind of a thing. And then her arm on this side, so again, a real skinny sort of wrist. There. And the hands are kind of curled up. So again, we got like the leather glove strap on the end. Right, so it kind of like just bumps around, maybe some folds on it. And then again, we've got the thumb just coming out. So the top of the thumb, it's a bit different than the other side. Seems to go like up this way, around. And then the fingers are curling on the other side. So it comes across, up, goes around that knuckle. And around the finger here. And the next one. Like so. And the 
next one. And then the index kind of just sticks out here a little bit. And goes back in that way. Like that kind of. Now, weapons, so we can see, say like her trousers, pants going that way somewhere. And then the weapons on the arm. So they're kind of like boxes right on this one. So it goes down various shapes and sizes of these boxes come out around her arm. Right, it's just like this kind of a thing. And there's like different sort of sections to all this. And things are really blurry, so it's hard to see them. But it basically, I think, comes down to a drill head. Down here. like little drill drill lines on top of that and then the other one is actually like a handheld drill that you would use like in your DIY you know because I know all you guys are crazy DIYers <laughs> I found that very funny so this goes that way and then here the box like a vent or something in, on the top here and this side is black because it's a hole and then that goes that way and there's like a little clip or something sticking up and then like details on that and then the actual drill head the chuck the thing that opens the drill and then is there an other little pointy bit? No, I think it's just one, two, and then drill going that way. So that'll have like little spirals on it as well. Okay, and then the things that come out from behind the shoulders. So these are a bit complicated actually. Right. Okay, so say just beside her shoulder here, we do the top yellow box, and it's like a V to start you off. And it comes down, right? So it becomes like a letter M. The other side, I think, could be different. No, oh, same. Okay. So then these have lines that come down from these points to make them look a little bit three dimensional. And then we have the starts of these sort of discs and drills that turn so this one comes around like this and then there's a pipe that comes out of it a little, boom, there right and then this goes to a point here point there Okay, and then this has like spirals and blades and everything just coming down like this. You could do them a bit more 3D if you wanted, but I think that's the easiest way to do it. And then we just close this off. And then we add three more and something in the middle. So, boom. And that thing goes up this way. And then the spike, this one will probably go off my page actually. Yeah. That way, and there's like a little pipe in here. Give it an edge. And spiral. Right. 
and then this curves around that way. One here, one here. This is like a different section. I'm not really sure what this is. It's like a circular thing in the middle. And then another spike just hanging down here. There. And of course there's like a little pipe that brings it up, connects it to the rest of the machinery. And then there's like little spirals on it. On the drill. Like that. Okay, so these seem to be connected at the back. So there's like curve line, curve line there. And they go in behind her spine and connect to these balls on the back, right? So here, behind the shoulder, a little lip in them. Like that kind of a thing. Okay, and there's another one here, except it's smaller because it's more like behind the body and I can't see that lip thing. Oh no, it's on the other side, it's like here. Right. So this comes up and down to there. There's like a section in the middle, so we'll go. A little disc or something here it's three-dimensional and then this comes all the way down to the end of this thing okay like a pipe so then there's another one of these on the other side so we'll go over and do it here so I guess we'll start the same place with this sort of letter M style right down here and then we go up and then it goes down like an M like that it's kind of skinnier on that side it's like we can see less and then on these points we have edge lines that come down and then we have the circle shapes so like we have clips and pipes and everything that come around here. Another thing is for the spike here. It's one spike and then the pipe goes back that way. Right. And then we have another one up here. Curving around, down that way, goes off the page, kind of like the other side. And then we have the section, the circle section in here. So there's like, like another area that's like this, comes around like that, and then around again, and there's like a little pipe, like this kind of a thing. comes around there, it's different on that side, and then another section there with a pipe, and then a spike, boom, right, and then we just close up all them, and then we'll add like the spiral lines, so you go around the drill, just these curvy lines. Kind of like, you know, candy cane or something like Christmas, you know, that kind of shape to the line. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. Okay. More or less like that kind of a thing. Right, and then we need the 
thing that comes out the back, right? So we've got like two more curved over sort of connector areas. And then this pipe kind of comes back this way. And then we meet a connection. Like it's like an articulating sort of part that like turns the arm. And then this will just go down behind her head into there. And then the other side of it just comes up here. And that's everything. That is how to draw drill woman from Skibbity Toilet. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.